Well, all right, all the animals are fed. Morning chores are done with the mill down, guys. I can't be working on the mill. All right, beautiful deck for our floor, for our house. Well, it's a bright, sunny day today, but it ain't gonna stay that way forever. So I'm gonna try and get this covered up and then i've got a bunch of other stuff we got to get done here on the homestead today All right, guys, so one of the other things I want to try and get done today, and hopefully you'll be able to see it on camera. Let me take you over here. Hey, Bailey, how you feeling? Bailey's still limping. Rocco's doing better. All right, so if you look down in here, this is where my water is coming down, my trench, and there's a like a swale here that goes out and it's a little rough over there it's a little rough over there all right guys sorry about that got a phone call had to take it so <clears throat> i'm gonna try and get in here gingerly and fix some of this but you know like if you look here where there's still standing water and there's a little bit of water here. Um, all I'm going to end up doing 
is fixing this area and tearing up the other area. So I'm going to gingerly try and get in here, do what I can do, uh, get it smoothed out a little bit more uh, because there's a possibility of rain tomorrow and there's certainly rain coming in Monday and that'll put me back another 10 days till it dries out. So let's get the tractor and see what we can get accomplished. Well guys, it's not 100%, but it's better. Let me take you over here. Like if you can see, you can see my swale is a little more tapered now. And like I said, there's some areas that were good and wet and they were bound to get rutted up. But every, every time, every pass, it's a little bit smoother and a little bit more like something we can run a lawnmower over. Um, so, I don't know guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm no farmer. I'm a truck driver. What do I know? All right, so this is pretty much ready for now. We'll see how it's gonna go. Hopefully we'll get some drier weather. In the next couple of weeks um, before the box blade and that tractor have to go back next we're gonna go up to the greenhouse because I got to do a little project for Missy all right guys we are up here at farm stand let me show you what Missy's got going on so if you can see in here she's got all kinds of plants in here these were they were out in that greenhouse but we had some frost come in uh two nights in a row and she was worried about them in the greenhouses um so we moved them inside uh as you can see she did have some stuff she left out here and it has done just fine. So, although we were concerned, our concerns um, were unfounded because everything was fine. So, she needs them out of there and she wants them in this greenhouse here. If you look over here, I have the tables. Uh, those are tables that were in here. Uh, I'm going to uh, screw the boards to the sides and let me show you what I'm talking about, guys. So you see these boards? What I do is I come from this side and I put a conduit clamp on it around this metal through the um, plastic to the board. And that will weigh down our greenhouse 
and last year we had some terrible winds and these greenhouses did not move at all so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get those tables in there so that we can get her plants in here guys with the mill down I'm gonna have to switch to the gardening because I can't mill anything right now with that clutch like that so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get our soil sample you see in our county our extension office will do a soil test and analysis and amendment recommendation for free once a year and you should definitely check your extension office in your county and see if they provide the same service because it has been invaluable to us here on the homestead so let me get you set up and i'll show you what i'm doing okay guys this row is freshly tilled from the other day and what you're going to do is you dig down about a foot And you want to get some soil out of there and put it in a bucket now you do that 13 times around your wherever you're gardening and then we're gonna mix it all up and we're gonna get it bagged up to go to uh, to the soil sample place All right, now we've got our sample. Why don't we bring it back, get it mixed up, and get it in its bag? That's it, guys. Sandwich bag full of dirt. What I'm going to do, take this tomorrow to our local extension office. They'll test it. I'll get my results in about a week, and I will share those results with you so you get an idea of what you can get from a good soil test. Howdy. Hey, how are you? Good. Great. Need to pick up some seed. All right, that takes care of one of my stops. Harbor Freight doesn't have something I'm looking for. Well, that's all right. There's a Home Depot right around the corner.
Let me know in the comments, where are we using this fence post? Do any of you guys have an idea? But you can also let me know, where am I? Any guesses? I don't know. Where could I possibly be? I know, I know. You guys know us. Of course we're on the ridge. Where else would we be? Any Over excuse? There. Hey! Any excuse to come and hang out on the ridge, I'm jumping on. It's always a good day. Yeah, it is. And it's a beautiful day today. It is. I'm about ready to lose this sweatshirt inside this uh, greenhouse here. That's not a greenhouse. That's a sauna. <laughs> I know. Ugh. All right, guys, uh, we have one project and I don't have a tripod. So I'm going to tell you about it because I can't film it. But while I'm here, look at them. Look at them. Come here, little bunnies. Oh. We got to move them bunnies. So, because they need that precious soil that's underneath. So. I'm gonna move that and uh, then we gotta get back to the homestead. Yeah, yeah, we'll grab by the sides. I think I might be able to. Okay, guys, ah. there's a big hole there. Don't fall in the hole. Stay. All right, I have taken up way too much of their time. I can't come over here without chatting for at least an hour. But let's get back to the homestead, guys. My mill is down. Uh, my centrifugal clutch is staying engaged. That's not good. That's not the way it's supposed to be. I got my barrel full of tools. We're headed up there. I talked to I talked to um, Woodland Mills, and they sent me directions on how to take it apart, and asked me if I could take some photos so they know just what parts to send me and they're gonna get those sent out so we can continue on the house build and all the other things we got going on here on the homestead. So let's get over to the mill and see what we got.
All right, guys, I was afraid of this. They said sometimes it will pull off with hand pull. Sometimes you need a pulley puller. It looks like I need a pulley puller. So I know where I can get one in town. I'm gonna run into town and grab one real quick and I'll be right back. Let me get down in here and show you what we got going on. So it was a little more complicated than I was anticipating it. Sorry about that, anticipating it to be. So it looks like there's a backing plate here. That's right there. And then there's a guard that sits up in the back like that all of that had to come out look at that guys it's got a crack right there it's all blown apart it's coming off the thing all right so let me see if i can get in there and send that to them and that's what's happening the whole thing is blown apart so, I'm going to take a bunch of pictures so I can send it to them. 